you've recently given up hair dye and you're growing out your natural silver, watch this video to see why you need blue shampoo. Hi, I'm Lynn and I inspire women to go naturally silver. So yes, you heard me correctly. I said blue, not purple, but blue. And here's why. So if you've ditched the dye and you're going gray, why do you need blue? You've heard of purple and you've probably used it, especially if you've ever highlighted your hair or applied any kind of bleach to your hair, then you use purple to counteract unwanted yellow tones. When you stop dyeing your hair, the dyed ends of your hair over time start to take on warm, grassy kind of tones to them that may not be exactly the look you were going for. Add that on top of a skunk stripe that's slowly emerging and you've got quite a look going on. This is what we Silver Sisters affectionately call blorange, where the ends of your hair just start to become orange, brassy, they take on almost like a calico cat. Well, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about what happens when you actually color your hair. Remember that the process of dyeing your hair actually involves removing and lifting color from your hair in order for dye to penetrate and get into that hair shaft. Well, once you stop dyeing your hair, you stop putting that dye over your hair. Then what you have is color that's just fading and fading and fading and fading. And that lifted hair now is taking on that very brassy, orangey kind of tone to it that is really not the look you're going for. So not only do you have two-toned hair going on with your roots coming in, but then now you've also got these brassy ends to deal with. Now we've all been there, I've been there myself, and I searched for all kinds of ways to help mitigate this growing out process and make it a little, a little easier. And honestly, for me, I think dealing with that blorange was really the biggest problem I had when I was growing out my silver. I could not take that color at all. I wanted nothing to do with it, but I didn't want to cut my hair off. So what is brassiness? Well, brassiness is unwanted warm tones that show up on color treated hair over time. It usually shows up on dark hair that's been lightened in some way, whether it's been highlighted, bleached, or lifted in order to apply hair color. Now over time, that hair color is going to fade. And if you're not coloring your hair anymore, you're gonna end up with very brassy ends, very brassy, unwanted, orange tones in your hair, especially if you're a brunette who maybe had some lightener put into your hair in order to achieve the color. Blue shampoo deposits blue tone pigments onto the hair to help neutralize brassy tones. And this all has to do with the color wheel. Remember the color wheel that you learned about in elementary school art class? Well, this applies here because opposite colors on the color wheel cancel each other out. And look what is opposite blue on the color wheel, that orange tone, that brassy tone. So that blue in the shampoo is actually going to cancel out that orange tone. This is Color Balance Blue by Joyco. This is the blue shampoo that I used in the early stages of my grow out. It's blue. It is blue. Isn't that cool? Smells good too. Blue shampoo should be used on your brassy ends. I don't recommend that you put it over the incoming silver, but if most of your hair is this brass, it's, it's just not a color that is attractive to you, try using blue shampoo on the ends of your hair. Make sure you check out my other video on purple shampoo. Hit that like button and subscribe for all things silver hair.